they actually pick up heat from the generator, waste heat, and send it back inside the rover to keep it alive while it's on Mars in, in the cold nights, and it gives us enough heat and power to run at night. Hello, I'm Dr. Roosevelt Johnson, Acting Associate Administrator for Education at NASA. That's the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. As the astronaut or the pilot goes higher and higher in the atmosphere, their body starts to expand as well. So they have a suit that actually squeezes their body to keep it from expanding like the marshmallow did. We're at the NASA booth of the USA Science and Engineering Festival, and hopefully we'll inspire the next generation of young people to be scientists, engineers, and explorers because they saw something at an event like this and they got excited about it. We've gone to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. We've got the International Space Station 220 miles up and doing research. Our next big destination that captures the imagination of the country is Mars. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. It's increasingly important now for the public to understand what we do and how we do it in order that we get a certain level of public advocacy and public support for what we do. NASA was created in 1958 to engage in space research to handle our federal investment in space technology and uh, space research. All independent agencies fit in the executive branch. They're under the president, but not controlled by the president, unlike the cabinet level organizations. We advise the president on a variety of different types of things associated with our specific goals and objectives. Independent agencies of the federal government are created by Congress, by congressional statutes, to do specific things. Many of those things are regulatory. Many of those things are associated with a particular type of research or a particular type of federal interest. We are accountable to Congress and also to the president, but our most direct accountability is with Congress. So there's a lot of oversight with respect to how we manage our budgets and how we implement those budgets. NASA happens to be one of the independent agencies that has a single administrator as head of the agency. I'm Charlie Bolden. I'm the NASA administrator. I work at headquarters in Washington, D.C., of the greatest organization in the world today, and, and I'm very proud to, to represent the almost 18,000 NASA employees spread around the country. Under the administrator, there's a whole hierarchy of associate administrators with each of the mission directorates, and then each of the mission directorates has a complex infrastructure of its own. So we are one of the larger independent agencies. I've heard that there may be correlations between sunspots and weather patterns on Earth. The effects on Earth's climate are more due to longer term changes in the sun. We take a lot of pride in our ability to work collaboratively with other agencies to see where we can have overlap with respect to goals and objectives. We work well with NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. And a lot of people may not realize that when NOAA puts weather satellites in space, we take the satellites to space. Plus, the vantage point we can give NOAA with respect to exploring space but looking back at Earth makes us natural partners. The next chapter of America's space exploration story is being written today. Launch, launch, launch. NASA has selected the design of its new deep space system that will take American astronauts further into space than any nation has gone before. We're investing in the technologies to allow humans to live and work in deep space, which will allow us to reach destinations such as an asteroid in Mars. At NASA, we often have to create the technology to answer questions that only we are asking. Before we could drive curiosity, we wanted to wiggle our toes a bit and test the steering actuators. This is the first time we moved the wheels on Mars. It's in the national interest for NASA and some of the other independent agencies to do basic research and, and research and development for the common good of, of the nation. 
NASA has already had a tremendous impact on our present and it will have more of an impact on our future or continued impact on our future. It's very exciting stuff that we do.